Today we are making a healthy homemade chicken noodle soup. The first materials you need are a knife, a stirring spoon, a big pot, and a cutting board. You'll need celery, one white onion, and whole carrots, pre-cooked shredded chicken, and egg noodles, eight cups of low sodium chicken broth and olive oil. And then you'll need seasoning salt, parsley, bay leaves, rosemary, thyme, as well as garlic. I always like to buy the pre-cut garlic. Now it's time to start cooking. Be sure to wash your veggies we're going to start off by chopping the celery into small bite-sized pieces about a quarter of an inch in length. As you can see, I'm chopping a few stalks of celery at the same time, but if you're more comfortable, you can only chop one stalk of celery at a time. It's really up to you. I wound up using six stalks of celery total for my recipe. Once you're done chopping your celery, place in a bowl to the side. Now it's time to chop our carrots. We're going to do the same thing as the celery. Using four carrots, we're going to chop off the ends, the tops and bottoms, and then we're going to slice little bite-sized pieces, once again about a quarter of an inch in length or in thickness. And then once we're all done, we're going to put those in the same bowl that we have the celery in. Finally, it's time to chop our onion. You'll see that an onion has kind of papery skin around it. So to remove that, I cut off the top and the bottom of the onion. Then I make a small slit in the side of the onion so that way it's really easy to peel off that um, outside exterior of the onion. Once we clear off our cutting board of that papery exterior, we're gonna chop our onion in half and then go and um, chop it into smaller bite-sized pizzas, just like we did with our celery and carrots. Okay, now we're ready to start cooking. In our large pot, we're going to put the stove on medium heat. We're gonna drizzle in about two tablespoons of our olive oil. This is what we're going to use to saute our veggies. We're gonna start off by just putting our onions into the pot with oil and stirring them around a little bit to make sure they're evenly coated with the oil and let them kind of simmer on the stove for about four minutes. Voila, now you can see after four minutes, the onions are a little bit more translucent. And we're gonna add our two other veggies, the carrots and celery. Once again, give them a good stir to make sure they're coated with oil and let sit on the stove, continuing your medium heat for another four minutes. As you can see, it's gotten softer, so we're gonna go ahead and add our pre-cooked chicken. Next is our first seasoning, which is bay leaves. We're gonna do two of those. some seasoning salt. You're going to use one teaspoon of that because the broth already has some salt in it, so we don't need to add too much more. 
We're gonna add some thyme, one teaspoon of that. And then we're going to do one teaspoon of rosemary. Finally, we're gonna do one tablespoon this time of our minced garlic. Now we're gonna give everything a good stir so that all of our veggies and chicken have those yummy herbs on them. They're gonna add so much flavor to our chicken noodle soup. Now we're going to pour in our two boxes of chicken broth. Gonna give it one more really good stir. Now we're gonna let our soup cook and get some really good flavor. So we're gonna put the cover on the pot and we're gonna turn up the heat just a little bit to medium high. As you can see, our soup heated up fast. Our final touch is using our egg noodles. We're gonna use about eight ounces of egg noodles, which is about half of the package that I have in my hands. It might not look like much now, but the noodles are gonna get much bigger when they cook. So we wanna make sure and get those stirred around underneath the broth. We'll cover that again while the noodles cook. They will take about five minutes. Now our soup is almost ready to serve. Remember those bay leaves that we put in before? Those add a lot of flavor, but they aren't something that you want to eat. So be sure to find both of the bay leaves you put in your soup and take those out of the pot. You are finally ready to serve. Be sure to get one cup ladle full, full of your noodles and chicken and veggies and then another ladle full of your delicious broth. And bon appetit. I hope you enjoy this recipe with your family during the cold months.